The ancient Olympic Games, held in Olympia, Greece, were a celebration of sport, culture, and unity. These games were first documented in 776 BC, marking the beginning of a tradition that would last for over a thousand years. The Olympics were originally a religious festival dedicated to Zeus, the king of the gods. During the games, all wars and conflicts were put on hold to allow athletes and spectators to participate in peaceful competition. The ancient Greeks believed that participating in the Olympics brought honor and glory to both the individual and their city-state. The sports in the ancient Olympics were varied, ranging from running, boxing, and wrestling to more unusual events like chariot racing and the pentathlon, which included running, discus throwing, long jump, javelin throwing, and wrestling. The ancient Olympics were a male-only event, and athletes competed in the nude to symbolize purity and equality. The games attracted participants from all over Greece and beyond, with some estimates suggesting that up to 40,000 spectators would gather in Olympia to watch the competitions. The victors of the ancient Olympics were revered as heroes, with statues erected in their honor and poems written about their achievements. These games were not just about physical prowess, but also about cultivating a sense of excellence, sportsmanship, and camaraderie among the participants. The ancient Olympic Games were a testament to the enduring power of sport to bring people together and inspire greatness. The ancient Olympic Games were deeply rooted in the history and culture of ancient Greece. The origins of the Olympics can be traced back to the mythological figure of Heracles, who is said to have started the tradition of athletic contests in honor of Zeus. The first recorded Olympic Games took place in 776 BC and were held every four years in Olympia, a sanctuary dedicated to Zeus. These games were part of a larger religious festival known as the Olympiad, which included sacrifices, rituals, and other cultural events. The ancient Olympics were not just about sports, but also served as a platform for political, social, and cultural exchanges among the Greek city-states. The truce of the Olympics, known as the Echecheria, ensured safe passage for athletes and spectators traveling to and from the games. The Olympics also played a role in promoting peace and unity among the often warring city-states of ancient Greece. Over time, the Olympics grew in scale and significance, attracting participants and spectators from all corners of the Greek world. The ancient Greeks believed that the Olympics were a way to honor the gods, showcase human excellence, and promote the values of fair play and competition. The ancient Olympics continued for over a millennium until they were abolished in 493 AD by the Roman Emperor Theodosius I, who considered them to be pagan rituals. Despite their eventual decline, the legacy of the ancient Olympics lives on in the modern Olympic Games, which continue to embody the spirit of unity, excellence, and sportsmanship that characterized the ancient competitions. The ancient Olympic Games featured a variety of sports and events that showcased the physical prowess and skills of the athletes. One of the most popular events was the Stadion Race, a sprint that spanned the length of the stadium, approximately 200 yards. Another iconic event was the Pentathlon, which combined five different disciplines, running, discus throwing, long jump, javelin throwing, and wrestling. The pentathlon was considered the ultimate test of an athlete's versatility and strength. Chariot racing was also a highlight of the ancient Olympics, with both two-horse and four-horse chariot races drawing large crowds. These races were not only about speed but also required skillful maneuvering to navigate the tight turns of the stadium. Boxing and wrestling were intense and physically demanding events that often resulted in fierce competition and dramatic victories. The ancient Greeks also valued equestrian events, such as horse racing and the horseback race known as the Keles, which involved riders racing around a post and back. The Pancratian, a brutal combination of boxing and wrestling with very few rules, was one of the most challenging and dangerous events in the ancient Olympics. Athletes had to combine strength, agility, and strategy to emerge victorious in this no-holds-barred competition. These diverse sports and events not only entertained the spectators, but also represented the ideals of athleticism, excellence, and competition that were central to the ancient Olympic Games.
The ancient Olympic Games held significant importance in Greek society, serving as a platform for the display of physical prowess, honor, and glory. Athletes who competed in the Olympics were revered as heroes and brought great pride to their city-states. The Games were not just about sports, but also encompassed cultural, religious, and political dimensions. The Olympics were a symbol of unity among the Greek city-states, with the Echecheria truce ensuring safe passage for all participants. The sanctity of the Olympics was such that even wars were put on hold during the Games to honor the spirit of peaceful competition. The Olympics were a manifestation of the Greek ideal of arete, which emphasized the pursuit of excellence and virtue in all aspects of life. The prizes awarded to victors, such as olive wreaths and statues, symbolize not only athletic achievement but also moral and intellectual virtues. The Olympics also provided opportunities for social interaction, trade, and diplomacy among the Greek city-states, fostering a sense of camaraderie and mutual respect. In terms of numbers, the ancient Olympics attracted thousands of spectators and participants from across Greece and its colonies. The stadium in Olympia could accommodate up to 40,000 people, showcasing the immense popularity of the Games. The Olympics were not limited to elite athletes, but also included events for boys and even heralds who announced the competitions. Women were not allowed to compete or attend the ancient Olympics, with the penalty for their presence being thrown off a cliff. Despite these restrictions, the significance of the ancient Olympics in Greek society cannot be overstated, as they embodied the values of honor, competition, and cultural unity that defined the ancient Greek world. The revival of the modern Olympic Games can be attributed to the efforts of Baron Pierre de Coubertin, a French educator and sports enthusiast. Coubertin was inspired by the ancient Olympic Games, and believed that they could be a powerful tool for promoting peace and understanding among nations. He first proposed the idea of reviving the Olympics in 1894 during the International Congress for the Reinstatement of the Olympic Games, held in Paris. Coubertin's vision was met with enthusiasm, leading to the establishment of the International Olympic Committee, IOC, in 1894, with Coubertin serving as its first president. The first modern Olympics were held in 1896 in Athens, Greece, with athletes from 14 countries participating in nine sports. The Games were a resounding success, attracting over 240 male athletes who competed in 43 events. Interestingly, the winners of the first modern Olympics were awarded silver medals, as gold medals were reserved for the winners of the following Olympics. The modern Olympics have since grown in scale and scope, with the number of participating countries increasing steadily over the years. The modern Olympics have also expanded to include a wide range of sports and events, from traditional disciplines like athletics and swimming to newer additions like skateboarding and surfing. The Olympics have become a global phenomenon, with billions of viewers tuning in to watch the games and athletes from diverse backgrounds competing for glory and recognition on the world stage. Baron Pierre de Coubertin, the visionary behind the revival of the modern Olympic Games, was a man of great determination and passion for sports. Born in 1863 in Paris, Coubertin was deeply influenced by the ideals of athleticism and education. He believed that sports could play a crucial role in promoting peace and understanding among nations, which led him to dedicate his life to the Olympic movement. Coubertin's tireless efforts culminated in the founding of the International Olympic Committee, IOC, in 1894, with the goal of organizing the modern Olympics. The first modern Olympics were held in 1896 in Athens, Greece, marking the beginning of a new era in international sports diplomacy. One interesting fact about Coubertin is that he was not an athlete himself, but a scholar and educator who saw the potential of sports to bring people together. Another fascinating detail is that Coubertin initially faced skepticism and resistance from some quarters about his Olympic vision, but his perseverance and persuasive skills eventually won over supporters from around the world. The numbers behind Coubertin's Olympic dream are equally impressive. The first modern Olympics in 1896 featured 241 male athletes from 14 countries competing in 43 events. Since then, 
the Olympics have grown exponentially, with thousands of athletes from over 200 countries participating in a wide range of sports. The modern Olympics have also become a multi-billion dollar global event, with billions of viewers tuning in to watch the games and millions of dollars in revenue generated from broadcasting rights and sponsorships. Kuberton's legacy lives on in the Olympic movement, which continues to uphold the values of excellence, friendship, and respect that he envisioned over a century ago. The modern Olympic Games have evolved to become a global phenomenon, showcasing the best athletes from around the world in a celebration of sportsmanship and competition. One key feature of the modern Olympics is the inclusion of a wide range of sports, reflecting the diversity of athletic talent across different cultures and regions. From traditional sports like athletics, swimming, and gymnastics, to more contemporary additions like skateboarding, surfing, and BMX biking, the Olympics offer a platform for athletes of all backgrounds to shine. Another interesting aspect of the modern Olympics is the emphasis on gender equality, with female athletes now participating in almost all sports and events. In fact, the Tokyo 2021 Olympics featured the highest ever percentage of female athletes, with women accounting for nearly 50% of all competitors. The modern Olympics also prioritize sustainability and environmental responsibility, with host cities incorporating eco-friendly practices and initiatives to minimize the game's carbon footprint. For example, the Tokyo 2021 Olympics featured recycled materials in the medals, podiums made from sustainable wood, and energy-efficient venues. In terms of scale, the modern Olympics have grown exponentially since their inception, with the Rio 2016 Olympics boasting over 11,000 athletes from 206 National Olympic Committees competing in 28 sports. The Olympics have also become a major economic driver, attracting billions of dollars in revenue from broadcasting rights, sponsorships, and tourism. The impact of the modern Olympics extends beyond sports, serving as a platform for promoting cultural exchange, unity, and peace among nations. The impact of the Olympics on global sports culture cannot be overstated. One interesting aspect is the role of the Olympics in popularizing and standardizing sports around the world. For example, sports like gymnastics, swimming, and track and field have gained widespread recognition and participation due to their prominence in the Olympics. The Olympics have also served as a catalyst for the development of sports infrastructure and training programs in many countries. This has led to the professionalization of sports and the emergence of elite athletes who compete at the highest levels. In terms of numbers, the global viewership of the Olympics is staggering. The Tokyo 2020 Olympics attracted over 3 billion viewers worldwide, making it one of the most watched sporting events in history. The Olympics also generate significant revenue, with broadcasting rights for the Tokyo 2020 Games reportedly fetching over $2 billion. Another interesting statistic is the economic impact of the Olympics on host cities. The London 2012 Olympics, for example, generated an estimated $15 billion in economic output for the UK and created thousands of jobs. Beyond the economic impact, the Olympics have a profound cultural influence, promoting values of diversity, unity, and fair play. The Olympic Games have inspired generations of athletes and fans, fostering a sense of community and camaraderie among people from different backgrounds. The Olympics have also been a platform for social change, with athletes using their platform to advocate for important causes and raise awareness about pressing issues. Overall, the Olympics have left an indelible mark on global sports culture, shaping the way we view and engage with sports on a global scale. The Olympics have played a significant role in shaping international relations and diplomacy, often serving as a platform for countries to come together in the spirit of friendly competition. One interesting aspect is the use of sports as a tool for diplomacy during the Cold War. The United States and the Soviet Union engaged in a Cold War Olympics rivalry, with both countries using the games to showcase their athletic prowess and ideological superiority. The most famous example of this rivalry was the Miracle on Ice at the Lake Placid 1980 Olympics, where the U.S. ice hockey team defeated the heavily favored Soviet team symbolizing a victory of democracy over communism. 
Another interesting fact is the role of the Olympics in promoting peace and reconciliation among nations. The Seoul 1988 Olympics marked a historic moment when North Korea and South Korea marched together under a unified flag, signaling a rare moment of unity in the divided Korean peninsula. In terms of numbers, the Olympics have brought together athletes from over 200 countries, making it one of the largest and most diverse sporting events in the world. The Olympics also provide a platform for leaders and diplomats to engage in dialogue and promote understanding. For example, the Tokyo 2021 Olympics saw high-level diplomatic meetings between world leaders, including talks between the U.S. and Chinese delegations. The Olympics have the power to transcend political differences and foster cooperation on a global scale. Overall, the influence of the Olympics on international relations extends far beyond sports, shaping diplomatic efforts and fostering connections between nations. The Olympic Games have left an indelible mark on global sports culture, influencing everything from the popularization of sports to the development of sports infrastructure. An interesting fact is that the ancient Olympics featured events like chariot racing and the pentathlon, showcasing the diversity of athletic competitions in ancient Greece. In terms of numbers, the first modern Olympics in 1896 featured 241 male athletes from 14 countries competing in 43 events, whereas the Tokyo 2020 Olympics saw over 11,000 athletes from 206 national Olympic committees participating in 28 sports. The economic impact of the Olympics is staggering, with the Rio 2016 Olympics generating an estimated $15 billion in economic output for the UK. The Olympics have also had a profound influence on international relations, serving as a platform for countries to come together in the spirit of friendly competition. One interesting aspect is the Cold War Olympics rivalry between the U.S. and the Soviet Union, where both nations used the Games to showcase their ideologies. The Seoul 1988 Olympics marked a historic moment of unity when North and South Korea marched together under a unified flag. The Olympics have brought together athletes from over 200 countries, making it one of the largest and most diverse sporting events in the world. The Tokyo 2021 Olympics attracted over 3 billion viewers worldwide, highlighting the global appeal of the Games. In terms of diplomacy, the Olympics have facilitated dialogue between world leaders, with high-level meetings taking place during the Games. Overall, the Olympics continue to shape international relations, promote peace and unity, and inspire generations of athletes and fans around the world.